Ah, what could be nicer than a summer picnic at the beach lying in the sun next to your micro jig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. Hey, before I get started, I want to take just a moment to ask you to please check out and subscribe to my second channel, Home and Garden for Mere Mortals. Here's a clip from last week's episode. One of the best ways to update and transform the look of a kitchen is to install new drawer and door pulls to the cabinets. We have a whole team of contributors on that channel. We could really use your support. Back in 2013, Ryan Borger sent me a picture of a picnic tray that he had made and I liked it so much I put it in my to-do list. 2013. Eventually I get around to things. So the idea here is that you've got an area for condiments, a removable box for the utensils, and a weight to prevent napkins from blowing away in the wind. I'll begin by gluing together three boards for the tray bottom. Then I'll cut out the side pieces. I need to cut 20 degree bevels along the edges of the two short sides. Now with the blade straight up and down again, I can angle my miter gauge to 20 degrees to create the angle for the front and back sides. I can cut out the curved shape on both of these pieces at the same time by sticking them together with carpet tape. I'll tape these three pieces together to make the cutting template for the front and back. And attach it with spray adhesive. Cut out the holes for the handle on the short pieces. I'll use my jigsaw to cut out the slot. I also want to round over the top edges of the sides, but that raises some issues. Using the round over bit in my router table, I won't be able to run it along the face of the board because of this dip. But that means I need to run it along this edge like that. If I run it along the edge before it's assembled all the way to the end, it's gonna have a round over where it needs to meet up with this piece. Another problem is this angle on the side pieces. If I run my router this way, it's gonna be a different curve than it would on the front and back. I think the solution is to round over the outside edges and then round over the inside edges to this point. Then what I can do is just round this last little bit over to where it meets up with this round over with a file or sandpaper or something. So once it's assembled, I'll just round over this last little bit. To deal with this awkward inside angle, I'll just round it over with my sander. So that round over pretty much matches this round over, and again, all I need to do is touch up this little area right here. Now I can glue these sides together. I'm forcing this glue down into this end grain. That'll help join them together. I'll use a rasp to around over that edge. <laughs> now returning to my base, I'll bevel the two ends at 20 degrees. How short you decide to make this piece determines how far down it's gonna set into the tray. I think leaving a little bit of a lip around the bottom makes it look a little bit nicer rather than putting it flush against the bottom. I'll glue this on the ends only. Probably doesn't really need any clamping, but I'll put some weight on it. Well, that turned out pretty nice. I'm going to reinforce these joints with dowel pins. These two holes are only gonna go halfway through this base. I can finish rounding over those last few edges.
nothing fancy here on this utensil box, just a simple glue up. I've cut this wood thinner than the others. This week on The Savvy Shoppers, we'll help you choose between a Casper mattress and Pokemon Go. Two nights ago, I launched Pokemon Go on my phone and slept on it all night on the cold, hard, sawdust-ridden concrete floor of my shop. I just couldn't wait for that nightmare to poke a stop. Last night, in my bedroom, I slept on my award-winning, excessively engineered Casper mattress, which combines springy latex and supportive memory foams to create an award-winning sleep surface with just the right amount of sink and just the right amount of bounce. Sorry, Pokemon. I think I'd rather Pikachu's Casper for comfort. Sure, Pokemon Go is free, but you know what else is free? A handful of dirt. And you know what else? It's called dirt for a reason. It's dirty and may even have worms in it. You don't want to sleep with the worms, do you? A Casper mattress, on the other hand, has low reasonable prices because they cut out the middleman and ship directly to you. Don't forget, take $50 off your first purchase by going to casper.com slash woodworking and entering the promo code woodworking at checkout. Thank you for joining me this week on Woodworking for Mere Mortals. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you want to make one of your own, check down in the description for a free set of plans. I also want to remind you about our new limited edition t-shirts and sweatshirts we have for sale. Click on the link down below to check out the full collection. Purchasing a t-shirt is a great way to support the show. Thanks again for watching everybody. I'll see you next week.